The 1CD FTV is a 2-liter inline 4-cylinder DOHC 16-valve diesel engine with common rail injection system and turbocharger. The engine has adopted numerous cutting-edge technologies. Among them, this video describes the new diesel injection system, which has achieved high performance, clean emissions, low noise, and low vibration. The common rail injection system accumulates the necessary pressure required for injection of fuel inside the rail. Just like the EFI system of the gasoline engine, this system injects fuel into the cylinders by opening and closing the injectors in accordance with the electrical signals output by the ECU. Therefore, this system can finally regulate the injection volume and timing, thus contributing to highly efficient operation and clean emissions. Furthermore, because this system accumulates constant fuel pressure in the rail, it does not create sudden pressure rises and offers the advantage of quieter operation. Now, let's look at the system. Let's start with the sensors. Here's the accelerator pedal position sensor that detects the opening angle of the accelerator pedal the airflow meter, the intake air temperature sensor, the turbo pressure sensor, the water temperature sensor, the crankshaft position sensor that detects the rotational angle of the crankshaft, the camshaft position sensor that identifies which cylinder is at TDC and the fuel pressure sensor at the common rail which detects the pressure inside the rail. Here are some of the actuators used in this system. The suction control valves or SCVs which are located on the supply pump assembly control the amount of fuel that is fed to the supply pump. The electronic driver unit, or EDU, which boosts the injection signal from the ECU. And the injectors that inject fuel in accordance with the injection signal. The fuel is drawn up from the fuel tank by the feed pump located in the supply pump assembly. Then it passes through the fuel filter and is fed to the supply pump. The fuel becomes pressurized in the supply pump to reach the injection pressure. The pressurized fuel is fed into the common rail where it is accumulated. The fuel that accumulates in the common rail is distributed via the injection pipes to the injectors of the cylinders. Then the injection signal from the ECU opens the injectors to inject fuel. The fuel pressure that is created in the supply pump varies according to driving conditions. It is approximately 20 megapascals at idle and increases to as much as 135 megapascals during high load, high speed operation. Let's look at its internal construction. The supply pump contains an inner cam which is driven by the engine. On the inside of the inner cam there are two sets of opposing plungers. Each set of opposing plungers is positioned at a 90 degree angle from each other and each plunger operates independently. The tip of each plunger is provided with rollers that come in contact with the inside of the inner cam. The inside of the inner cam is oval. The rotation of the inner cam pushes the plungers via the rollers, which effectively pumps the fuel. The use of the two opposing plungers in this manner minimizes the drive torque fluctuations, which makes for quieter operation. The fuel that has been sent by the feed pump flows 
pass the suction control valve, or SCV, and the check valve. The fuel is then pressurized by the plungers and flows via the delivery valve and is fed into the common rail. The SCV regulates the volume of fuel that enters the supply pump plungers. During the suction stroke, the longer the SCV remains open, the greater the volume of fuel that enters the pump plungers. And because a large volume of fuel is pumped, the fuel pressure becomes high. During the suction stroke, the shorter the SCV remains open, the smaller the volume of fuel that enters the pump plungers. And because only a small volume of fuel is pumped, the fuel pressure becomes low. In this manner, the ECU controls the opening of the SCV so that an appropriate fuel pressure can be reached. Let's watch on an oscilloscope to see how the SCV is controlled. To easily monitor the operation of the SCV, let's see the electrical current that flows through the SCV. The SCV signal is shown at the top and the fuel pressure sensor signal at the bottom. Here's a comparison between the no load condition at 1500 RPM and the load condition at 1500 RPM. It's evident that in the load condition, the SCV remains open longer and the pressure in the rail is higher. Thus, according to the signals received from the sensors, such as those of the accelerator pedal or the engine, the ECU controls the SCV in order to regulate the fuel pressure that is needed for the particular driving condition. Then the resulting pressure is fed back to the ECU by the fuel pressure sensor in the rail. The common rail accumulates the fuel that has been highly pressurized by the supply pump and distributes it via the injection pipes to the injectors of the cylinders. A fuel pressure sensor is provided at one end of the common rail to detect the fuel pressure in the rail and to send it as a signal to the ECU. A pressure limiter is provided at the other end. So that in the event of a system malfunction, if the fuel pressure rises abnormally, the pressure is relieved mechanically. On receiving the signal from the EDU, the injector opens its nozzle to inject the fuel that has been accumulated in the common rail. Let's look at its internal construction. The fuel that is fed from the common rail separately enters the control chamber and the nozzle portion of the injector. In this state, the nozzle is closed because of the pressure of the control chamber and the spring force pushes the needle down. On receiving the signal from the EDU, the solenoid valve above the control chamber opens. Then the pressure in the control chamber decreases, which causes the pressure at the nozzle to push the needle upward, and the nozzle opens to inject fuel.